Out of the Cleveland Marathon today, the 5K and 10K races ran off from Public Square with the half marathon and full marathon tomorrow. Now, the last time Cleveland held this race was back in May of 2019, the event being postponed due to the pandemic. Returning runners will notice some new safety protocols this year as well as a different course. We're one of the uh, 50 largest, long, longest running races in the country. And I think it's because we are very persistent in what we do. and We never take no for an answer. And we just kept working. We had many hurdles to overcome that dealt with the COVID uh, pandemic. But we were able to do that with a lot of hard work and working with some great people. Now, while there are no mandates, they are asking people to wear masks inside the convention center. Marathon, half marathon set to start 7 a.m. tomorrow morning at Public Square. Meteorologist Matt Wentz actually running in that race tomorrow. Three other three news employees as well. Yeah. Betsy, they're going to be getting wet or is, is it going to be OK? Well, keep in mind, we're still eight hours from race time, so there's lots of time for changes to happen, but we really have a pretty good idea as to what's going on. We do have some rain that is happening off of the lake right now. Those cold rain showers continue, especially in areas east of Cleveland. A wind switch is going to be taking place as we go through the night tonight into the day tomorrow as we are going to be kind of in a transition. So for tonight, we've had a westerly wind just above the surface. It will become uh, it will relax a little bit as another storm system comes in and we start to see some changes for the day tomorrow. Overnight, this is the way it's expected to go down. We will see some breaks in the overcast. That's going to allow the temperatures to chill just a bit. We'll probably have some upper 30s farther south and especially east. But downtown Cleveland near Lakeshore area is likely to hang out right around the 40 degree mark. 7 a.m. clouds in play, but so are some sprinkles. Most of the sprinkles chances will likely be south of greater Cleveland. We can't rule out sprinkles throughout race time as the uh, morning wears on and we head toward afternoon. But you can see that a lot of the cloud cover has thickened up and by midday we are anticipating seeing some of those sprinkles around. So one thing to keep in mind is that sunrise isn't until 749 in the morning. The race starts at seven. So we have 49 minutes till sunrise even uh, comes up as folks are out there racing. That means the temperature rise is going to be delayed a little bit too. So we're slowly but surely going to work our way out of the 40s and toward the 50 degree mark by the time the first runners or hopefully everybody finishes that finish line by the noon hour. Well, bring your flashlights and maybe your galoshes <laughs> if they still make <laughs> them, right? For sure. There we go. Thanks, Betts.